In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to install animated overlay files into Pinnacle Studio. You'll learn how to add them to your timeline, rotate and resize them, add multiple layers and more. I'll also show you how you can get creative with the overlays using a few advanced options. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is bring the overlay files into Pinnacle Studio. You'll receive an installer.exe file for your various overlays. So I have the folder open where my exe file has been downloaded. Now I'll double click on the file to install it. I'll accept the terms and press install. Once the setup has finished, I'll click finish. Now these overlays will be installed in a folder located on your desktop. And now we're ready to import these files into Pinnacle Studio. I've opened up my project with the media already on my timeline that I want to add the overlays to. And we can import these overlays either into a project bin or collection. I'm going to click on the project bin icon. Then click on create a new project bin. And name it animated overlays. Then click OK. Now I'll click on Quick Import, and I'll go to where the multicolor confetti overlay files have been installed on my desktop. Then I'll left click and drag to highlight all of the files, and then click Open. Now you'll see the overlays are now in my new project bin. We can click on the play button on one of the thumbnails to see how the overlay will look in the preview pane. So I already have my main video added to AV Track 3 on the timeline. I have it on the third track because I want my title and overlay to go over top of the background images. So my title is on AV Track 1. I'm going to drag the Multicolor Confetti 3 animation to AV Track 2. Now double click on the overlay to bring up the editor and make sure Properties is selected. You'll see that my overlay has automatically filled the entire screen. But I can resize the overlay by adjusting the Size tabs. I can also adjust the Positions tab if I want to reposition the overlay. I can even adjust the Rotate tab to rotate the overlay to the left or right. If you want to adjust the speed of the overlay, click on Time Remapping. Now I can adjust the speed to either speed up or slow down the overlay from 10 to 500%. Let's say I want my overlay to slow down to match the entire length of my background photo. I'll hover my mouse over the edge of the overlay and drag it until it matches the ending point of my media on track 3. Now you'll see on the timeline that half of the overlay box is purple. The blue portion indicates the actual length of the overlay, and it ends where the purple section begins. So I'm going to slow down my speed until the box is completely blue. Now if I press Preview, you'll see the overlay plays out until the end of the clip. Let's say I have more media on my timeline and want to loop this overlay so it plays multiple times. I just have to right-click on the overlay and select Copy. Then drag the playhead where you want to paste the overlay and click Paste. Now I want to add a second confetti overlay to create an even bigger confetti explosion. To do this, I'll right-click on AV Track 2 and then click Insert New Track then Below Track. I'll go back to my Animated Overlays project bin, and this time drag the Multicolor Confetti 4 overlay onto my new track. And now I'll press Play to preview the video, and you can see that using both overlays creates even bigger bursts of confetti over my media clips. Now let's try some more advanced ways to customize our overlays. I'm going to double click on my overlay and click on the color tab. From here, I can adjust any of the bars to alter the color levels of the overlay. And if I adjust the exposure level all the way down, 
and the contrast level all the way up, you'll see my confetti is now all black, which gives it a completely new style. You can also play around with different effects to give the overlays motion. Let's click on the FX tab. And I'm going to choose from the Artistic Effects category. You can play around with any effect, but I'm going to use the Swirl GPU Moving Swirl effect and drag that over top of my overlay on the timeline. Now, if I press play to preview, you can see a cool swirl pass through the confetti as it falls down. Finally, I want to show you how you can use the crop mode on any overlay. Here I have an image of a girl looking outside a train window. I want to use this rain overlay, so I'm going to drag it onto AV Track 2. So now, if I preview this, it looks like it's raining inside the train and I want it to look like it's just raining outside the window. To do this, I have to crop the overlay. First, I'll click on the Crop Mode icon under the Preview pane. Next, I'll drag the edges of the overlay on the Preview pane so that they are cropped to the size of the window. Now, if I press Play, it has created a really unique image, and it looks like it's raining outside the train window. These are just a few ways you can have fun using and customizing your overlays to add great effects to your projects. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Pinnacle Studio.